Hello, my friends. Welcome to Theater Play with Toro and Miss Amber. That's me. And I hope you're doing well out there. I'm so happy to be here with you today. And I hope you're feeling good, you're healthy, and you're having a great day. Let's get started with a little literacy tip for parents. Parents, teach your kids all about shapes. The more they understand shapes, the easier it will be for them to learn letters. Are you ready to sing with me? Are you? Come on, let's sing. Show me a beat with your hands. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. No matter what the weather. Jump everybody and say hello. Jump everybody and say hello. Jump everybody and say hello. No matter what the weather. Turn everybody and say hello. Turn everybody and say hello. Turn everybody and say hello. No matter what the weather. Snap everybody and say hello. Snap everybody and say hello. Snap everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. Can you snap? Oh, snapping is tricky. I can snap with this hand, but this hand, oh, oh, that one needs a little more practice. Today, we're gonna talk about butterflies. Did you know that? Butterflies and caterpillars. So I thought we could sing a song about butterflies. Do you see my butterfly wings? Let's sing. Flutter, flutter, butterfly, flying in the big blue sky, floating by for all to see, flying by so merrily. Flutter, flutter, butterfly, flying in the big blue sky. All right, I guess it's time to play. All right, what do you think of my garden? Isn't it beautiful here? And you know what? I brought something to share with you today. This. This is my mystery box. Do you know what a mystery is? Hmm. A mystery is something you don't know the answer to, or maybe it's a secret. And this has a symbol on it. This symbol is a question mark. It's a curious symbol that says, I don't know. Or maybe it says, I have a question for you. Oh, in my box, there's something, and we have to guess what it is. You know how I know there's something in there? I can hear it. If I use my ears, my hearing sense, I can hear it in there. What do you think it is? Let's find out. There's definitely something in there. Oh, it is a bum bum bum. That's right, it's a butterfly. Hello, red butterfly. You're the first to come to my garden bed. It's a lovely butterfly colored red. All right, red butterfly, come on over here. Red butterfly, we have a question for you. Can you tell us something about butterflies? Sure, sure. Did you know that butterflies are insects. Oh, wow, that is really cool. Let's see what else is in my box. Hmm. Oh, then in comes another. That makes two. Fly right in, my friend of blue. Hey, blue butterfly, can we ask you a question? Can you tell us something about butterflies? Oh, of course. Did you know that butterflies have to go through many changes to become a butterfly? Wow, that is really interesting. Hmm. 
One, two. How many more butterflies do we have in there? <gasps> Our garden needs a sunny fellow. Hmm. Come on in, my friend of, what color is he? <laughs> Yellow, that's right. All right, what can you tell us about butterflies? Oh, well, did you know that butterflies are considered the most beautiful insects in the whole world? Wow, that's really interesting. All right. Oh, look at this. This garden is fine. The best that I've seen. Come on in, my friend of green. That's right. Here we go, butterfly. Green butterfly. What do you have to tell us? about being a butterfly. Oh, well, like, this is a really good one. Did you know that butterflies, like, totally taste with their feet? Cool. Who's next? Oh, purple butterfly, come on in. We are all about to begin. Here we go, purple butterfly. Let's put you on this flower way over here. Purple butterfly, what can you tell us? about butterflies. Did you know that there are more than 20,000 different types of butterflies oh, in the world? I, I didn't know that. And finally, oh, Orange, you've waited so long. Come on in where you belong. And how about you? What can you tell us about being a butterfly? Oh, well, just pretty much that being a butterfly is like totally awesome. <laughs> I saw a little butterfly, colorful and bright. I tried to touch it gently, but it flew away in fright. So I caught it with my net and I kept it in a jar. But it looked much happier in the garden on a little flower. So I quickly let it go and set it free. It flew away, flapping its wings at me. Mama butterflies lay the eggs on the bottoms of leaves or in trees. Oh, wow. Oh, something's happening. Yeah, let's watch. Oh, wow. What's coming out? Yeah, it's a little green caterpillar. A caterpillar? What? I thought we were talking about butterflies. What's going on? Every butterfly starts as a caterpillar. See? Look how much work it is to get out of that egg. It's tough work. First, he uses his mandible to chew a hole in the egg so he can get out. Oh, he's, he's almost out. Oh man, that does look like hard work. Come on, little guy, you can do it. Yay! Once he's hatches, he's very hungry. He's eating his egg. Oh yes, everything he needs is right there in the tree. He will eat his egg, the leaf he's born on, and many, many other plants. Wow, man. Wait, where's his mom? Caterpillars don't need their parents. They are independent. They are born knowing exactly what to do. That little caterpillar, he's just eating and eating. Yeah, caterpillars are eating machines. Whoa! Now what's happening? The caterpillar is pupating. He is making a hard case around him called a chrysalis. Inside that case, as time passes, he will change into a completely different form. You mean during the same lifetime, the caterpillar will be two different life forms? Whoa, that's amazing. Yeah, it's called metamorphosis. The process of changing from one form into another. I, I see something happening to the chrysalis. Yeah, this is the best part. 
I'll leave you to find out what happens. Come on, guys. Okay, thanks, butterflies. Wow, kids, what do you think is gonna happen? Oh, oh wow, a butterfly. Hey, do you remember us? We knew you when you were a little caterpillar fresh out of the egg. Yeah, I sure do. I remember you. Well, my wings are dry, so it's time to fly. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye, butterfly. It was nice to meet you. You know, my friend Will, he raised butterflies this past spring. They started as tiny little eggs, and then they turned into caterpillars, and just like that, they turned into chrysalises, and finally, butterflies. Would you like to see that? Check this out. Hi, my name is Will, these are my butterflies. Wasn't that cool? Wouldn't it be so fun to raise butterflies from tiny little eggs all the way up to butterflies? Hi. Hi, Manuel. How are you? You know, watching butterflies is really amazing. Oh, I know, I know. Thanks, Will. Thanks for sharing that with us. Do you know a butterfly's tongue is hollow like a straw? No way. Yeah, he keep it rolled up and he unrolls it to slurp up the flower nectar. Whoa, that is amazing. Yeah, and the butterflies, they use their feelers to smell the world around them the way we use our eyes. Whoa, what would it be like to smell our world instead of see it? I don't know. Let's try it. Okay, let's try it. Should I shut my eyes? Yeah. <laughs> Kids at home, you try this too. <laughs> I... Hmm. I smell macaroni and cheese. I don't think I'm very good at this. I think it's time for lunch. <laughs> okay. See you guys later. Bye, Manuel. <laughs> what a crazy kid. You know, I know a song about butterflies, and it needs one of these. <gasps> this is how it starts. I'm a caterpillar, will you wiggle with me? I'm a caterpillar, will you wiggle with me? I'm a caterpillar, will you wiggle with me? What will I turn into? Oh, I'm a chrysalis, will you swing with me? I'm a chrysalis, will you swing with me? I'm a chrysalis, will you swing with me? What will I turn to next? Do you remember what happens next? Oh, I'm a butterfly, will you fly with me? I'm a butterfly, will you fly with me? I'm a butterfly, will you fly with me? What will I turn to next? Bye bye. <laughs> My friends, you know, learning about butterflies is really, really interesting. And I have this butterfly book and it told me something really cool about butterflies. Oh, do you see my butterflies? It tells me that some butterflies need camouflage to stay away from their predators. That means they put on an outfit, a disguise, so that the bugs and animals that like to eat butterflies can't see them and can't find them. Sometimes butterflies look like tree bark or sometimes tree leaves. Do you see it? Sometimes they like to look like flowers. Here's a red one hiding. Or sometimes they even look like other animals. How cool is that? 
You know, it also says here that butterflies, they don't like cold weather. They can't fly if it's too cold outside. And some butterflies, like the monarch, they have to travel very, very far to get somewhere warm. In fact, I have a book all about the monarch butterfly. I do want to tell you about this one, Butterfly by Peter Horak. This is a beautiful book, but I'm going to read you a different one. Magnificent Monarchs by Linda Glacier. Look what I found here in these weeds. A shiny white egg stuck on a leaf. A tiny monarch caterpillar pushes her way out. My soft and wiggly friend. She eats and eats the milkweed leaves. She grows and grows until she grows right out of her small, tight skin and now has a bigger, looser one. She eats more and more milkweed and then she grows right out of her skin again and again and again. Now she finds a safe place in the shade and hangs upside down like a letter J. She sheds her skin once more, and look, a chrysalis has formed. My little friend is safe inside, and she stays in there for days and days while her whole body changes in wonderful ways. When she comes out, she's not fat or wiggly. She becomes a monarch butterfly with magnificent wings. Now she's ready for an amazing journey. It's autumn. She must not get cold. She quickly heads south for a warm winter home. She flies day after day and sips nectar from flowering weeds on the way. She meets other monarchs all heading south. They gather like tan and orange leaves resting a while on butterfly trees. On and on my little friend goes, flying thousands of miles to Mexico. What an amazing flight for a little one so thin and light. Millions of monarchs gather here, where all their great-grandparents all came last year. They all rest close together, staying warm until spring. Then my little friends start back north again. Here, she finds young milkweed plants, and she lays her eggs at last. Soon, a wiggly caterpillar pushes out of the egg. A tiny new life, an amazing new friend. Wasn't that interesting? Do you know that monarch butterflies only eat one thing, milkweed. And milkweed is a weed, so people are always tearing it up and pulling it out. But if there's no more milkweed, well, there's no more monarch butterflies because there is nothing else that they eat. That's pretty sad, huh? I do have one more friend who had fun with butterflies this summer. Let's let her tell you all about it. Butterfly fly paw. Butterf butterflies love me and rainbows love me. I love butterflies so much and I love them all much. Butterflies love me so much and I like flowers so much. I love flowers and butterflies so much. Thanks, Pearl. That was so good. I loved hearing all about it. My friends, that's the end of our class for today. 
I just want to say thanks for joining me. And remember, Twirl has live classes every weekday at 11 o'clock. Thanks for joining me today. See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you next time, friends.